Hey guys, welcome to Lala's Kitchenette. I'm Chef Lala and on this channel I love to help people elevate their cooking skills. On today's episode we're making a whole stuffed artichoke card. So here's what we got. We got breadcrumbs, parmesan, onions, butter, I got a pot of boiling water and we're just going to clean our artichoke and get it into this water, put some salt in there and let it boil or simmer till it's tender. So we're just going to take the stem off and I'm actually going to take a little bit of the leaves off as well. It's a tough one. And that way it'll be flat when it sits in the pot or on the pan. Be careful with your artichoke. These are really tough, spiny vegetables, okay? So I just flatten the end. And we're going to go ahead and put some salt in our boiling water. pinch of sea salt in there. Yeah, we're just going to put that in our water so it can get tender. Let that simmer away for a little while and we'll get our burner preheated over here and we'll be right back when it's time to get going. Okay, so we have our pan nice and preheated. You got a lump of butter in there. Put in a drizzle of olive oil. We got our whole artichoke simmering happily away in its pot till it's tender. So yeah, I just got a little butter, a little olive oil. Let's we'll put in these onions till they're softened. And this is going to be part of our stuffing. In our stuffing today, it's going to be onions, um, breadcrumbs, and we're going to put that in after we slather it in some of this beautiful Italian salsa verde that we have made. So I'll put on our end screen for next video to watch is my Italian salsa verde video. But yeah, it has all the key elements of the flavors that you want in a really nice stuffed artichoke. Stuffed artichoke, super easy, just takes a little bit of time. It's a really awesome, shareable appetizer. We got our onions softening up over here. And I'm gonna go ahead and put some seasoning in there. Well, salt and pepper and we'll put our breadcrumbs in there as soon as those onions are softened up to get a little toast on them and I've just been flipping this artichoke periodically if you want to do this in a steamer you won't have to worry about turning it over but yeah I'm just flipping it back and forth every five ten minutes until it's done and we're just softening our onions for our awesome stuffing for our beautiful artichoke. So we're cooking that with that method in water. This is going to be our stuffing over here. And once it's tender enough, we'll go ahead and stuff it and then we'll wrap it up in foil and we'll put it in the oven until it's done. So my onions are looking nice over here. I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle in. I just have Italian seasoned breadcrumbs and we're just going to throw those in there and we'll stir it. We're just going to get it toasted and awesome. And we got Parmesan over there to grate over the top when it's all done. I hope you really like this version of the whole stuffed artichoke. I think you'll really love this and you'll love my Italian salsa verde. It is so good. And yeah, we're just going to lay this out in a single layer until it gets a little color on it. And we'll just stir it every couple minutes and we'll be right back and I'll show you what those breadcrumbs look like. Okay guys, so we let our artichoke simmer for about 15-20 minutes. And this is how you know it's done and it's ready to stuff as you grab it out of that water with your tongs and set it down on a flat surface and the outer leaves just sort of start to fall out away from it. So we're going to get in there and we're going to put some of our nice, our toasted breadcrumbs, our breadcrumbs finished toasting. We're just going to help this, I let this cool down a little bit. Starting in the middle, you know, take your tongs, get them in there, push it away from the center. And we're gonna get a nice dose of our Italian salsa verde on everything. But yeah, that's 
that's how you know it's been going long enough. It's like tender, the leaves to start to fall out away from the center, the heart, on their own. And then get in that center with your tongs or whatever your fork and just twist it until you get it to open all the way and get it all open all the way like a flower, like how it is right now. And you put the marinade of your choice. You can do this marinated overnight when it's still raw and then steam it, whatever you like. Um, you could also do, you know, oil and vinegar or like Italian dressing or something or pesto, whatever you got on hand. So there's our salsa verde. Gonna go over the whole thing, a little salt and pepper. And we'll start stuffing it with our toasted breadcrumbs that we toasted in butter, olive oil with the diced onions in there. And we're just gonna start in the middle, kind of pat it down into all the little nooks and crannies. And we'll just kind of go a layer at a time. So I stuff that, I'm gonna tuck it up. And then we'll go around the outside of that with our toasted breadcrumbs. And kind of get that next layer closed up. And yeah, repeat the layers until the whole artichoke is stuffed. And then we're going to wrap it in foil and we're going to put it in the oven. We're going to grate our nice parm cheese over that first though. Yep, just going in circles, layer at a time, get in there, stuff the layer, close the layer. And this is going to be amazing. It smells so good. Like I said, this is such an awesome appetizer, like shareable, you know, so good. And you're going to love my Italian salsa fair day. I promise. And yeah, we'll just keep repeating that process and I'll show you what it looks like when it's all stuffed and closed up. Okay guys, so we got our whole artichoke. Each layer has been stuffed and I went ahead and wrapped it, start to wrap it up in foil. And I'm just gonna do one piece this way and one piece the other way. I'm gonna grate some Parmesan over the top and Nice melty flavor is in there. You know, you can always add more after too, or you can take the foil off towards the end. And man, this smells amazing. It looks amazing. Each layer of this artichoke has been stuffed with our Italian salsa verde. And also our Italian breadcrumbs that we sauteed onions, toasted them with the butter and the olive oil. And yeah, I'm just going to sort of support this with the two layers of foil so it holds together while it's baking in the oven. And we'll be right back to show you what it looks like. Okay, so we pulled our amazing stuffed artichoke out of the oven. We just cooked it long enough for it to like get really, really tender. All that stuff we put in there, our breadcrumbs, everything to settle into the crevices. All nice. And yeah, it's done, guys. Get your tongs in there. Separate some of those layers out. Textbook picture perfect. Smells amazing. I know you guys are going to love this. And you know, don't forget to smash that like button if you like this and other videos on my channel and any of the content I put out. And um, yeah, like, share, subscribe, guys. Got a bunch of really cool stuff coming up on my channel. And of course, if you've never eaten artichoke before, you just pluck the leaves and then you just scrape. That's really hot right now, but you would just scrape the end of the leaf off on your teeth. The, the insert, the middle, the, the heart, the artichoke heart, you can eat the whole thing. You can eat the entire leaf. It's super tender and delicate and you're going to love it. So hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope you go get an artichoke and make an awesome family friendly, friendly or sharing friendly appetizer and don't forget to check out my italian salsa verde video because it's so good and i'm going to be putting that on like everything this week till it's gone <laughs> so thank you guys for joining me in my tiny kitchen peace out it's all up